First of all, you have to insert a USB flash drive into the USB port of your computer. Make sure you're doing this on the client PC. Once the flash drive has been detected by your computer, open the assessment files folder found in the desktop. Double click on Rufus 3.20 and allow changes of your computer and initiate the process of creating a bootable USB drive. Select Windows Server 2008 ISO Image and Utility. Before you hit the Start button, make sure to set the partition scheme into MBR and the target system must reflect BIOS. While Rufus is processing, you may copy the three essential files, namely the application folder, LAN, and printer or L360 drivers to your flash drive. WinRAR, MS Essentials, MS Office, Firefox, and Adobe Reader are the five most important application softwares needed to be installed in the COC1. Copying all the files to the flash drive as well as creating a Windows Server 2008 bootable USB drive takes time. So while waiting, I suggest that you start working on the disassembly and assembly of the parts of the system unit. The entire process of disassembling and assembling parts of the system unit is on a separate video. You may check it out later. Once complete, click close. Now let's check the contents of your bootable flash drive. Make sure that the applications folder, LAN, and printer drivers are there. Lastly, safely remove the flash drive. Your flash drive is now ready to be inserted in the server PC for installation of the network operating system or NOS and application softwares.